Michael Cole. Yeah! Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. And I got to start the show off by, like this. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Hey, you're Let's Mark. Yeah, you're Mark. Yeah, hey, we so, know that. Hey, before we start, though, congratulations. I know you've been over this uh, ad nauseum over the past uh, 24 hours, but uh, congratulations on the uh, soon-to-be family. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Yeah. Appreciate uh, that. It's going to change your life. Well, Cole, you you and I have uh, you've been a part of the ecosystem that has known about this whole thing. Yes, and sir. It's been a great mm -hmm. conversation and confidant through the entire process, so I appreciate the hell out of you. I miss you, though. Don't we miss Cole? Hell yeah. We miss all you guys. So much. First off, congratulations on this. This is amazing. I, I I was expecting something, but I was not <laughs> expecting this. What, the FanDuel Thunder? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is uh, absolutely incredible. The fact that I got to take a selfie uh, with Bigfoot before I walked <laughs> in the door was huge. Yeah. The fact that I now know what it feels like to be a Pat McAfee stalker because I sat outside the security gate for 10 minutes in my car. Yeah, that's yeah. why the gate's there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course. That's why the gate's there. Uh, this is fabulous. Congratulations to all you guys. I know you worked hard really to, to get to this point, and uh, this is – you can't even describe it. it I've seen videos, you know, I've seen photos, but to be here, this is absolutely incredible. You, worked, you, you worked your ass off for this. You deserve it. Thank you. I appreciate you, Cole. Awesome. We all have. Uh, the boys have really invested a lot of their times and energy and life into this place. And at, when we moved in, Cole, Cole. Cole tell boy. you what. <laughs> when we moved in, I was regretting everything. Because every single day there was a new technical problem that for whatever reason we'd ask the expert that had the technical problem in their potential field and they would say that some other field was to blame for it. So there's never an answer really for anything. Things would just stop working out of nowhere. Our internet, even though we paid for three gigs up, three gigs down, we can only get one gig up, one gig mm -hmm. down because the things that are limited and then that would crash and we're like, well, we're paying extra for extra. So for the first like three, four weeks, boy. I walked in this place and hated it every single day. I was like, this is the biggest waste of money, waste of time of all time. It's brought me more headaches than anything else. Take me back down to all the homeless folks downtown yep. in our tiny little dusty studio that actually had a power thing yep. on the outside. <laughs> right on the outside. Take me back in there. But over the last like two, three weeks, this place has really settled in. It's been nice to enjoy it. It's a great place to come to work. And it's people like you that have helped us make this. Obviously, you just met Darius, I think. Yeah, yep. you, finally. You big time Darius uh, uh, down at. You, he did you, not. Don't yeah, that was yeah, wild. Yeah, you, you chose not to show up. Yeah, I wasn't there that. <laughs> yeah, you said, I'll, I'll, I'll go to every other show. <laughs> yeah. Every other show. <laughs> Darius Butler's coming. I'm not going to be <laughs> over there. <laughs> but it's because of guys like Darius and AJ and you. You're a massive part of this show. We haven't seen you in a long time. Yep. Um, you know, whenever I started with game day out of nowhere, because it did pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, that was an interesting week, by the way. Uh, yeah. Can I tell that story? Sure. Uh, sure so uh, Pat and I had just <laughs> finished a double taping, and uh, it was Detroit uh, for, for SmackDown. Yeah. And um, I gave him a big hug, and I said, <laughs> enjoy your week off. I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, I got a week off there. That exactly. was going to be the first week off. In time. Because we were going to Cardiff to do a, a, a premium live event. No. Clash at the castle. So I gave Pat a big hug and said, hey, enjoy your week off with the wife. I'll see you in two weeks. And um, away we go. Yeah. And uh, I get to Cardiff. I was, never forget it. It was Thursday night. I'm sitting down with my buddy to have a beer. What a shock. Uh, at, a pub, <laughs> at a pub. At yeah, for those that don't know, Michael called <laughs> massive booze bag. Yeah. <laughs> Problematic booze bag. Fall yeah, very and adorable. that's the reason for this, yeah, the, the coal train. The coal train is a shot of Jack in PBR or whatever. Right. And, and put it together and yeah. drink it. But nonetheless... I'm oh, you get drunk <laughs> quick. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 A, a shot of Jack and a full beer at the same time. You only need like four or five of those. Hey, we, oh, did, okay. we did the coal train in St. Louis. Hell yeah, a couple yeah. times. Choo -choo. Hell yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm sitting at the, this pub in Cardiff. Drinking a beer with my buddy and right. saying, uh, two days away from a big premium live event, you know, a nice week, and I get a text message. <laughs> Thought it was Pat going to tell me, have a, good, have a good show. show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I don't want you to hate me. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, that was real. I didn't. So uh, as soon as I got that, I decided I have to pick up the telephone. <laughs> so anyway, I called Pat, and he gave me the news, and um, Pat wanted to do both. And, yeah. and I think I was the first person to tell you, and I know he had some other conversations with people in our company. I said, Pat, you, you don't. You're going you're gonna to kill yourself. There's absolutely no way to do this. And I'm, I think you made the right decision uh, to go on hiatus uh, from us for a while, especially when I saw you in Eugene, Oregon at 5.45 in the morning Jesus. or whatever that was. Yeah, I don't know how I would have survived. <laughs> Could you imagine if I would have, though? Like, what an epic run. This mm -hmm. show, Monday through Friday, then SmackDown on Friday night, then game day on Saturday morning. Then napping, I guess, in there somewhere. And then Sunday NFL games all day. That would have been a lot of me talking. A lot. Ooh. So I appreciate how friendly and hospitable. Saturday night, too, by the way. 
Oh yeah, then we had yeah. the mega cast yeah. after Oregon yeah. nights. Yeah. After Oregon, oh. too. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, that would have been. I wouldn't have made it. Uh, you guys were adults, but you've been in this game a long time. You know, you've been traveling for like twenty six years now. You mm -hmm. missed two shows. The travel does get you. You know what I mean? Like the travel does get you. And whatever, whatever I was thinking about trying to accomplish there, and mostly because I didn't want to. Like the text I sent you was real. Like yeah. I didn't want the people at WWE to hate me, but also like what was being presented is like something that in the sports world, in the football world, like college game day is an institution of our world. Mm -hmm. Like even people that don't watch college football watch college game day. That's like almost their college football experience for some people. So it was like that situation popping up and how much I've loved working with the WWE happening at the same time. It was like in my head, I'm like, all right, I'll just have to do both. Like that's what I'll, I have to do both because – you know, I'm getting these incredible opportunities to do this type of stuff that I would dreamt of, at, like actually dreamt of uh, with WWE. Never dreamt of getting into college game day because I didn't think it would be p feasible, to be honest with you, because normally it's quarterback, Heisman winner, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. it is. But WWE, I always had a dream of. And then once it was like presented, like, hey, you could be a part of game day, I'm like, holy shit, never could have expected this opportunity. And I didn't want to disappoint anybody over there because how much respect I have for how much, you know, the amount of respect that you not only showed me, but all of our guys, like – Everybody in the WWE family was so nice to all of our guys. Oh, yeah. No matter when, no matter how, everybody was cool to us. So I didn't want to piss you off. I'm thankful that you guys were like... Well, everybody's... But Connor has been respectful to all of us. So yeah, you're right. Cool. Whatever. Yeah, you're right. Shut <laughs> up, Mark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, no, and, you, I, and I was disappointed. When we had that phone call that night, yeah, I, was, I, I was incredibly excited for you because, you know, obviously game day is game day. And, but I, I hung up that night, and I was like, it, it was like I got kicked in my gut, right? Because Man. we had developed this amazing chemistry and um you know but then i thought about it for a little bit and i actually called my wife and she's like you're being incredibly selfish here uh mm -hmm. to feel like that and i'm like yeah you know pat's my buddy and he's a real close friend of mine and this is incredible for him and then obviously we had the talk 24 hours later and we moved on and life's good and hopefully we'll see you back soon i do want to say one thing though. hey you guys have you guys been uh because I've been seeing on the internet my return date. I'm like, well, I haven't fucking heard my return. Yeah. Is that right? I would like to hear. I would so like, I'd love to hear what our speculation like. is. Is January. However, uh, that is our speculation. <laughs> 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 we have not heard that officially from anyone. So that is what we're hoping for. Listen, a lot can change in the next couple of months. Um, I just want to say that uh, Sports Center is finally. I mean, Sports Center Game Day is finally watchable again. All right, listen, so, we're not getting into oh, it. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 that is oh, 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 oh. I love that show. I love that show. I'm very appreciative of everybody there. Everybody's nice on there. I appreciate you being a friend and feeling like you have to say that. Um, but I've had a blast on that show. I've been thankful. I'm not saying it because I'm a friend. I'm saying it because I'm honest. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. But like, I think a lot of things that I've learned at the WWE, though, I've been, I've been able to carry in a game because this show. I mean, it's a joke. Yep. This show, <laughs> compared to how SmackDown's run, compared to how NFL match, literally as we're coming live, I'm like, Darius, how similar, you know, is this show yeah. to the matchup? Because as that countdown is happening on the thing, uh -huh. we are still trying to figure out. What's the biggest news of the day? Uh, what, 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 what are we talking about? Not only what's going to happen, but also do we have, like, do we have Cole's? Mike, Cole's going to show up in here. If he shows up, are we completely <laughs> fucked? That's happening as the opening intro is happening because literally – uh, I'm not a great forward thinker. It's like as things are presented to himself, I feel like I'm pretty good at getting like uh, – and I think we are as a team. But I feel like one of my best traits is being able to make a decision quickly and being like, yeah, we're going with it. Not You're not a format guy. No. <laughs> no. Like, but, but let's do it. Like let's definitely get the let's best execute. option. Let's yeah. get the best idea. But like some ideas I, or some problems that could potentially pop up, I don't scout out in it because I never think about the problems. I'm always like – it's going to work. We're going to go. Not that I'm like Ruben like that, but I am like, yeah. I'm always thinking like it's going to work. So I don't scout out potential problems in the future, which is a large part of what happens on this show when we're trying to panic at the very end before we go live, try to figure it out. But we always do because the incredible group of guys we have here. But what WWE taught me with like, you know, show changing, show prep, like thinking of ideas being on top of it, watching you do the way you do it, different angles to say pretty similar things, right? Like I think that is something that we have to do on this show, but in WWE certainly had to get better at that. So I think all the things that I got from like WWE, both production behind the scenes wise, preparation wise from watching you work has really carried into game day. So I appreciate you a lot, even though you just buried all those people over there at game day. <laughs> yeah, that was Jesus wild. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Game opinion. No, it's been fun though, man. It has been a lot of fun. I do miss you guys over there. How's everything? It seems like you guys are killing it. Yeah, yeah everything's been great. It's really been a, a, a great uh, change of scenery uh, the past couple of months. 
Uh, things are going wonderfully. Um, ratings have been good. Stories have been great. Um, it's a, it, it's a different world. Um, I worked. What are you talking about? Well, Vince McMahon. Um, oh, okay. I, I worked, oh, sure. I, I worked oh, under Vince. Scenery. Thought he was talking about Bullock. I worked under Vince for 25 years, and uh, I, I I knew nothing else. Uh, he was a second dad to me in many ways. I grew up in in the company, and it was a shock when it first happened. And I think we've all settled in, and we've realized, hey, the show must go on. That's what Vince always said. And, the show's going on, and we're doing well, and it, it's been a lot of fun. How's your hearing? Come back or no? Nope, not at all. No, it's still going. <laughs> That's why I have this thing cranked to the top. Jeez. Well, you're going to hear a lot of static then, because I think i got to crank to the top, and we have a lot of issues. Let's dive into the conversation. Cole follows sports. Oh, yeah. Okay. Terrible sports. Well, he's been a Jets and a Mets fan his whole life. We just yeah. signed Diaz. Yeah, the Steelers are playing well. Well, that's oh, yeah, it. well, I don't give a fuck if uh, they are or not. We're, we're, Shut Patriots, up, Patriots. Boston we still Cole. own Patriots, you, Cole. Right. Whatever. You do, you do own me. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's made your life very yeah, miserable for a lot of people, not just you. But, Cole, it's great to see you, bro. Thanks, We got SmackDown in town tomorrow. Yes, SmackDown in town cool. tomorrow. How come that couldn't happen for the year and a half whenever yeah. I was? We were in Evansville one time. Remember that. Yeah, it's like eight hours away, I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it's way, south. Barely even Indiana. Three hours. You think, uh, how, what are we, we're after Crown Jewel right now? So what do you guys got popping Survivor right Series in uh, two weeks from Saturday. And who's all in Survivor Series? We're figuring that out right now, but we're going to have two War Games matches. War Games! For the first time ever on the main roster, which, of course, you participated in one of the NXT War Games matches. Yeah, main course. evented. Uh, Let's go. Indeed. Premium live oh, event. Yeah. So we're bringing Almost it. broke your back. So Survivor uh, Series for the first time ever. Flat off the top. War, of the War Games, Games this year. Um, by the way, that really put you on the map uh, in our business, uh, was that match. Me jumping off the top of the Well, the fact page. that you were able to compete and do well in it, and people realized, holy cow, this guy can do this. Um, well, with a broken toe. I had broke yeah, my toe the first yeah. moonsault, I, which I did in the Tennessee River. Shout out to WWE. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I did a moonsault through oh, Roddy, maybe. I forget. Somebody was in the table. Yep. And uh, I just, my toes just went right into the ring. Yeah. Broke my big toe. That's yeah. the first thing I did in a match. Yeah. That's literally minute one of like 47 <laughs> or something well, like that. After having to load in 18, 18 tables. tables. Yeah, right. What a rib. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Pat, you'll get all the tables. Uh, okay, so don't mind if I do. Let me move 10 tables. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fucking mover. Blown up. <laughs> broke a toe. Pretty serious L4, L5 injury. Yeah. Flat backed off the top yep. of the cage. Mm -hmm. What was that, your second match? Yeah. yeah. Main event. Did you ever do that? Main event? Yeah. I was semi-main event, WrestleMania. Oh. Right. <laughs> That's nice. Cole's undefeated. Yeah, yeah, I am undefeated. And you're not, by the way. So I am. Just in make sanctioned that clear. matches. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. McMahon beat you. In no, yeah, but it wasn't sanctioned. Sanctioned. It wasn't sanctioned. sanctioned. It wasn't sanctioned. It wasn't sanctioned. It wasn't sanctioned. <laughs> because the guy who's in a match can't sanction a match, especially right. on the spot. The owner of the go. company can sanction anything he wants. No, no, no. No, he can't. Not no. whenever. Well, it's in not the rules. I wrote the rules. We read just hired. What's yeah. that? Saturday, so, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, yeah there's they, not a lot of rules, yeah. uh, but that one is rule because it's not just the owner. Like, mm -hmm. there's a whole Texas – I mean, I think Texas <laughs> yeah. had to be a part of yeah, the, a little the bit. federation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so <laughs> OCW had to go through the same thing. Exactly, when we had yep. that years ago. Yeah. So, I'm undefeated in sanctioned matches. You're undefeated in matches. Yeah. Look at us. Okay? Right, here, here we, we are. are. Great job. Undefeated, guys. Here we are. It's great to see you. Have you missed any shows since last time, or are you still nope. on that streak? Still going. Okay. Still right. rolling. Jesus. <laughs> 25 years, two shows. Yeah. yeah. 52 weeks a year. Well, Appreciate I guess they double tape, so he gets a... Uh, it's like a week off every once in a while. Oh, okay. Well, but no. he's still handling bullshit. Wait, wait, wait a minute. These double tapings aren't weeks off. We had a double taping this week and ended up going to Saudi Arabia. To do oh, nice. oh, oh yeah. you got vacation. So there you go. <laughs> that? That's a vacation. Wait, you, 